सो हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक दिस इज सुरेंद्र एंड वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द डी मल्टीप्लेक्सर इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव सीन द डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ मॉडल इनटू द मक्स लाइक इंप्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ बुलियन एक्सप्रेशन इनटू द मक्स और आइडेंटिफिकेशन ऑफ बुलियन एक्सप्रेशन बाय बाय मक्स सो वी हैव सीन टू कॉम्बिनेशन इन लास्ट वीडियो सो वी हैव कंप्लीटेड विथ मल्टीप्लेक्सर and then we will start d multiplexer that is also called d mux so d mux is nothing but it is the complement of multiplexer so first we have to see that there the output bar only one one and here the in, in input is one there input is 2 to the power n here output is 2 to the power n so we can say that the d multiplexer is a combinational circuit this contain single input and multiple output based on the selection line input is transferred to the output so firstly i have gone through the 1 raised to 2 mux and that is like i here input is i and if s is equal to 0 then the out output will be output will be transfer to y not so here will be i f if s is equal to 1 the output will be in this, this one will be zero f s is equal to 1 then input will be transfer to the y1 so this will be i and this one will be zero so the boolean expression for this one will be s bar s bar i plus s s bar i for y not and for y1 this will be s i we have different outputs so we have to make different boolean expression so i have written that the for uh, boolean expression this one this will be zero so this will be s bar into i for y not and for uh, y1 this will be s i so let's implement this one like suppose this is s and this is s bar so firstly you can implement s bar into i so this will give y not and then s into i so this will give y1 and then we have understood understood that how 1 uh, raised to 2 uh, d multiplexer is implemented then we will see the implementation of 1 raised to 4 d, uh, d multiplexer and then we will go through like we have seen in multiplexer the implementation of higher order d multiplexer using lower order d multiplexer so firstly see the 1 uh, raised to 4 d multiplexer so here 1 1 raised to sorry this is 1 1 raised to 4 d max so here input will be i and here will be s1 and s0 and this will be 4 so y0 y1 y2 y3 so what will be the truth table for uh, this one then s1 and s0 when both are zero then y0 y1 y2 y3 why y0 will be i and other will be zero when zero one then this will be zero y1 will be i means this y will be transferred to y1 when one zero then i will be transferred to y2 when one one then i will be transferred to y3 so this is the this is the truth table for 1 raised to 
hold uh, demands and you can also implement uh, implement so for why not we would have s1 bar s0 bar i for y1 s1 bar s0 into i for y2 this will be this one so s1 s0 bar into i for y3 s1 s2 into i so this will be you can implement using like two uh, taking two select line in uh, using a end gate so you can uh, easily implement uh, this one so this is your homework you can do by one so uh, then we will see the how to implement the one raise to four uh, dmux using one raise to two dmux so guys one raise to one raise to uh, four dmux using one raise to uh, two dmux so uh, we have to follow the same procedure as we have uh, seen in mux so firstly we will divide four by two so this will be two and then two by two so this will be one so here we know that the the dmux is required is three total uh, we have to add uh, these two one so this will be three then what we have to do firstly we know the truth table as we have uh, previously seen so there we were in like we were taking the in lsb1 then in previous one, but this will be in uh, reverse way so uh, just see this is suppose i so uh, this is because at that time we have only one uh, we have ma many inputs and we have to like uh, convert it into one input here we have only one, one input and we have to give to many inputs so we will uh, follow the reverse procedure so this is one raised to two and this is the msb and then connect other two so this is s0 this is s0 so these are y0 y1 y2 y3 when this will be 0 and this one will be 0 so s1 and s0 both are 0 0 then output will be suppose i am just writing y0 when this will be 0 and this will be 1 so 0 and 1 output will be y1 when this will be 1 and this will be 0 so y2 then 1 1 y3 so this is the similar as we have seen in uh, we, we have seen the truth table of this one so we have to do everything similar as we have done in multiplexer so you can do it by own then we will uh, move to the uh, next topic called decoder because this uh, uh, demultiplexer is similar than multiplexer so i am not uh, doing anything more and uh, uh, there we have discussed the uh, as a universal gate, gate but we know that demultiplexer have only one, one input so we can't uh, use as a universal gate so that problem also cancelled by automatically so we can't discuss that, that thing so that is enough for dmux and then we will move, move to the decoder and then encoder so i will try to uh, finish all uh, decoder and encoder so these are the the last topic for combinational circuit and then next we will uh, start with sequential circuit so so guys decoder is to decode something decode means we have many inputs and we have to convert it into many inputs 
here the many inputs is nothing but the n input we would have n inputs and we were converted into 2 to the power n and here one in a will be enable input that will like if enable is zero then this will not uh, work like this will be switch off and if enable is one then the operation of this decoder will work so this is look like similar like this uh, this is input uh, uh, similar to the dmux this is nothing but the circuitry of decoder is nothing but similar to the dmux like in uh, dmux we have seen that this is the in input like if we are using here this is the input and these are the select plan nothing change uh, except the, these two so sometimes they also write that 2 raised uh, 2 raised to 4 dmux so you didn't have to treat it as this is wrong they sometimes they, they write it because the circuitry of decoder and dmux is similar so uh, the i'm defining the decoder so decoder is a combination circuit which contain many inputs and many outputs it is used for code conversion generally binary to any other so i have seen uh, i have illustrated over here that how you have to use this one so we will see uh, the truth table for decoder and then we will uh, see the implementation of a higher order decoder using lower order decoder so uh, let's see first uh, i'm considering the 2 raised to 4 decoder 2 raised to 4, four means here we would have some enable inputs and then here we have enable input then we would have two inputs this is input this is output so this is input then we have four outputs so th this is outputs so when enable is zero nothing they, they all will be zero when enable is one then zero zero then uh, like so here will be one and all other will be zero so when zero one so this will be zero this will be one all other will be zero when, when one zero so this will be zero zero this will be one all other zero but one 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 so th these three will be zero this will be one so here you can uh, make make the expression for each and every like uh, for y0 y0 the expression will be a bar a bar b bar into e a bar b bar into e and for y1 this will be a bar b into e a bar b into e for y2 this will be a b bar into e so a b bar into e for y3 this will be a b into e so these are the uh, four like inputs so you have to implement uh, this circuitry so i'm uh, again implementing but i should leave uh, to you but i am implementing so please pause the video and uh, try to implement by all so guys uh, here i have implemented the, uh, this one so you can see and match that uh, this one is correct or not so as i already have said that the, the structure of the dmux and the decoder is uh, same so the 2 raised to 4 decoder will be similar as 1 raised to 4 mux dmux sorry then we will uh, see the problems the implementation of higher order decoder using lower order uh, decoder 
and then we will see some uh, implementation of some functions and then we, we will move, move to the encoder so like suppose i have to imp uh, implement the 4 is to 16 decoder decoder using 2 raised to 4 so first uh, divide 16 by 4 as we have uh, done in everything then 4 by so this will be 5 total number of decoders uh, will be will so uh, we have to see, uh, see that the number of inputs for this one is 4 and we have to uh, like outputs should be 16 so we know that the using uh, 2 raised to 4 decoder so we can imp uh, we can generate 4 4 outputs so that will be inputs for some other decoders and then we will generate the 16 uh, outputs so let's see suppose so guys uh, suppose this is the 2 raised to 4 decoder and this is a and b and this is enable so th there will be four outputs and then for generating uh, 16 output we will use the enable inputs for every each and every decoder so we will uh, take four decoders and this will be enable input for this one and i will show that how this will work so here two input will be c and d here c and d and here c and d and here c and d so here will be four outputs so uh, suppose this is output from y0 to y3 this is y y4 to y7 this is y8 to y11 or four outputs and this this will be y12 to y15 so this is the in enable input so i will show that how it will work like all are 2 raised to 4 decoder so guys uh, so suppose uh, see that this is here here this is a b c and d here i am writing just output as one one output means here uh, this will be uh, long q so just i will uh, mention that this output is one so when this is zero 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 both are zero zero so which uh, which uh, which one output will be one so this one will be one if enable is one suppose we are supposing that this this enable is one so this our output will be one so this output is one then we will see that the combination of uh, c and d we can select four uh, outputs so when uh, this is zero zero then this will be y zero and when this is zero one this will be y one suppose uh, like that and these all other uh, uh, output will be zero zero so the uh, this the, these decoder will be, will be this uh, enable disable sorry so th these uh, three decoder will be disable so th this decoder only uh, will be but so we will uh, see the four combination of this one if suppose the a b are zero and one zero and one so this one will be selected this one will be selected means this one other will be disable this only will be enable so then according to the 
combination like when this is zero zero. So the y four will be selected. Y four will be selected. When oh sorry sorry <coughs> when when this is zero one. So y five will be selected. When this is one zero. So y six will be selected. So this is like similar uh, then uh, that that is acting like a four is to sixteen decoder, and our M M two implement the four is to sixteen decoder. So and this is the main point. Then I will give a problem to you, and then uh, please implement that one. So guys, uh, the problem is that implement the three is to Eight decoder using two raised to four <laughs> decoder. So here we will uh, do the similar that eight uh, we have to divide by two uh, four. So eight divided by four this will be two and two divided by four this will be one. So here this is not completely divisible. So I have given a concept in Max that if The the decoder is not completely divisible. Then uh, the the output terminal there there the input terminal are not using fully. So here the uh, the output terminal of one decoder will not use all all the output terminal will not use. So only one two output terminal will use. So you implement then see that uh, which decoder like two terminal one you will use. So see the problem. If you are not able to uh, do, then comment on comment section. I will uh, give the solution for this one. And then uh, we have to implement uh, some circuitry using uh, decoder. So uh, suppose I am giving the uh, giving one question. Suppose you have to implement the half header using. Two raised to four decoder, decoder. So we know that what is two two raised to four decoder. This is like two input A and B, and this is enable, and uh, this is two raised to four. So this is zero. This is zero means zero means zero means or both will be zero. Or we can write as A bar B bar. One means zero one. Zero one means Zero means a bar b. Here two means one zero. So a b bar. Here this will be a b. So this is the uh, circuitry. So if you have to uh, like suppose if you have to implement the half uh, half header. So we know that the equations for uh, some will be the, uh, this XOR XOR. So we know that a bar a bar b plus a b bar is xor so here use one or gate and this will be the sum and then this is the carry so we have implemented uh, the half header using 2 raised to 4 decoder and suppose i give uh, i given same uh, for half subtractor so the sum is similar but the carry is anybody have remember so that is a bar b so this will be the carry carry for for subtractor this is for subtractor this is for add and sum is similar for, for both them. this is some common difference so this is the problem so here i will uh, so you are uh, concept that then like we have seen that that when we implement the The half header or full header. We have seen that the min terms for some uh, was n one comma two. <coughs> you see, uh, you will found it. And for carry and adder, yeah, write this one as borrow. This one as carry. You will better understand. Carry bor m three. So uh, we didn't have done anything. We have just taken that terminal 
you didn't have to worry like if you are able to do this one then that that is good enough but you have taken that, that term like one and two here three here that uh, for uh, borrow that but one so we have uh, we have taken one so this is the logic nothing uh, so then um, please uh, uh, take a question for yourself implement 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 the full adder full adder and full subtractor full subtractor using 3 raised to 8 decoder just calculate the, these min terms and then just uh, as I have done here you can do there also so the, uh, this was all about the decoder and then uh, we have last topic called encoder so encoder is nothing, nothing but the complement of decoder as we have seen, uh, seen in decoder the decoder is n raised to 2 to the power n and encoder is 2 to the power n raised to n here the input will be 2 raised to power n output will be n only and uh, here one will be enable input as we have seen in uh, decoder so till now we have done everything so you can do each and every uh, operation of decoder uh, encoder but i will uh, show you a truck table and then i will uh, go through uh, that one so we have two type uh, two type of uh, uh, encoder first is a normal encoder and second one is priority encoder so i will show that what is no normal encoder what is priority encoder so suppose the like suppose uh, this is eight eight input so th these are eight inputs so uh, these will be i7 and i i i6 to i0 you can this is enable input and this is 2 to the power 3 raised to 3 and here will be y0 y1 y2 so guys in normal decoder no normal normal encoder a normal encoder so guys uh, for normal encoder we just see like that this is the table for that one so you didn't have to bury anything if enable is zero then all will be like uh, nothing this will be zero zero if enable is one and this is i zero is active then all will be zero zero as we have seen that you can make this a table easily easily and uh, and I have calculated some expression for this one like uh, for uh, y2 these uh, uh, in the, uh, this condition the y2 uh, 1 so you have to see that i i4 plus i5 plus i6 uh, plus i7 and similarly uh, do for uh, this one also so you can uh, do this uh, the, like implement uh, this one so I am just so showing that this is the implementation uh, for that one but the problem for uh, the pro, uh, normal encoder is that if like suppose here also the one comes then how this will be detected so this will not be able to give the uh, input so when pro priority input uh, priority encoder uh, like we will discuss the priority encoder so that that is nothing but you have to just if two input occur so that will give the priority to higher input like here also input occur so th that will give uh, the input uh, the priority to the this one so you can see like 
so i will show that root table for that one also so this is the root table for uh, that one like uh, if one is occur then the, uh, means i i node is active then these three will be zero zero if i1 is active then don't don't care this one this one is zero or one we don't care the, the y zero will be active other will be zero and if i2 is the, these two we, we don't care so you can do uh, like this one and then uh, you can make the boolean expression for this one and implement the uh, logic circuitry so this will this will all about the uh, combinational circuit in next video we will see the we will start the sequential circuit so thank you for uh, watching the video if you like the content of this video then please like the video and uh, if you have any doubt then comment on comment section and if you are new in this channel then please subscribe the channel thank you very much